Apple's iPad Pro made its debut in 2015, and from day one, Apple marketed it as a computer, laptop replacement. This was a claim I mocked at the time, but eight years later, Apple has finally proved me wrong. I spent the past eight days using the 12.9-inch iPad Pro as my work machine, writing articles like this one, taking notes during conference calls, snapping and editing photos in Adobe Lightroom, and producing videos for my YouTube channel, and things went very smoothly. All the previous things that held the iPad back from being a real work machine, like lack of a file system, lack of multitasking, lack of external display support, lack of a pro-level video editing app, have all been fixed. Of course, I could have gotten all of my tasks done slightly faster on a MacBook Pro. But the iPad Pro is more versatile. If I want to take a break from work and scroll through Instagram or play some mobile games, the iPad is much better than the Mac, and slightly more portable. The iPad Pro's official keyboard case does make the package close to laptop weight. And ultimately, the iPad Pro is just a lot more fun to use. Animations are livelier and more whimsical, and being able to use my finger or the Apple Pencil stylus to poke at things and drag files around feels more intuitive and natural than dragging a mouse. I know older working professional types who look at a lot of Excel sheets may still scoff at the idea of an iPad as a work machine, but I think for the younger generation, the so-called Gen Z, the iPad Pro is enough. It is their idea of a do-it-all computer. Even for me, much closer to middle age than Gen Z, I think the iPad Pro is capable enough that I can leave the laptop at home the next time I go on a short work trip, like a two-day tech conference. I did my experiment with the most current iPad, the late 2022 model running on Apple's M2 Silicon. I used the larger 12.9-inch model, paired with Apple's official Magic Keyboard. The first thing I want to say is the Magic Keyboard may be expensive, but it is an excellent performer. I actually prefer typing on this keyboard than many standalone keyboards I have used over the years. And Apple's software optimization for the trackpad is so precise that the Magic Keyboard's relatively tiny trackpad allows me to get around the home screen perfectly fine. Again, I prefer using this trackpad more than the trackpad of many Windows laptops. Real multitasking on the iPad allows me to use it as a writing machine iPad OS has also become quite good at multitasking in recent years. I can open two apps at once in split-screen mode, or I can activate Stage Manager to open more apps in smaller resizable windows. The iPad Pro's 12.9-inch screen is still a bit cramped. The iPad Pro also now supports external displays, so I can plug the iPad into another screen, or a pair of AR glasses, and I can get a second home screen for the iPad software, on which I can sprawl more apps.